News for Tucson at 5 with Sean Mooney, Angelique Lizardi, and Matt Broad. News for Tucson, investigating for you. All right, let's check back in with Daniel McFarlane in for Chief Meteorologist Matt Bro. We were talking about a lot of things, not having to use our ACs anymore. Mm -hmm. When are we going to see the 80s? But and the mornings are just love so nice. It. Love mornings. Yeah. Oh yeah, you yeah. really don't need your AC in the mornings. Yeah. It's so dry, mm -mm. we get down to the 60s every day. The mm -mm. beast will go out now in the morning. That's good. I, could, oh, I couldn't yeah. get him out the door before. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Now he's ready. All yeah. good. All good. Now it's his favorite time. I think it's going to yeah. be everyone's favorite time the next few days, though, oh, because we're still expecting the triple digits out there. We saw it today. We're going to see it tomorrow and likely Wednesday, and potentially even the day after that, too. But I do think we're going to be seeing the triple digits just for tomorrow and Wednesday before that temperature starts to drop with some breezier conditions moving in. Now the colder end of the week is mainly going to be for those of you looking forward to Saturday and Sunday because we're going to be getting a lot farther away from the triple digits and I think it's going to be unlikely we get back up this warm whenever this front passes us by. Sun's going to start to go down here pretty soon and we're not seeing a whole lot of cloud cover for most of the area but the temperatures that's going to start to go down pretty quickly and many of us are going to be sitting around 100 for I think about the next 15 to 20 minutes before you start to see these temperatures get to the mid 90s when that sun goes down here in less than an hour you're really going to see that temperature drop fast remember we were talking about those morning temperatures getting down to the 60s that has a lot to do with the drier air it helps your temperature rise during the afternoon but at the same time when the sun goes down it helps the temperature drop very very fast and that's going to be what we're expecting for the next few days out there speaking of it going back up 101 is likely going to be your high if you're headed towards the airport tomorrow midtown foothills oro valley also expecting around the same mark and even if you're going down I-19 a little bit towards Sarita and Green Valley. I think just over 100 is where their temperatures are stopping as well. Two spots I'm going to be a little bit more concerned about Ajo and Cells because they're lower elevations. They're seeing a lot more of that sunlight lasting throughout more of the day and with as dry as it typically is in that portion of Pima County. If anyone can get to 105 over the next couple of days, it's going to be those areas. Thankfully, I don't think that's going to be the case for Tucson. Now looking over near Ajo, something else I want to point out a bit more cloud cover over in this area. This is mainly going to be sticking up towards the north, but I'm not seeing any indication at all that this is going to turn into rain. Typically during monsoon, what you want to see is more wind out of the south and out of the east and it's just not there with the way it's stacking up so far. So over the next couple days for you 101 102 and then some big changes as we get into Thursday. The reason why I think we're going to miss the triple digits that day increased cloud cover breezy conditions that's going to be coming out of the north to help us out quite a bit. And then Friday and Saturday also going to be breezy as well with that front passing us by. It'll cool us off and then eventually we're going to be in the upper 80s. So I know you two are both looking forward to this 89 on Sunday, 88 on Monday, looking pretty good during that time.